Alrighty, cool. I should be good to go. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry about this. Alright, you guys can start. Alrighty, we're gonna be jumping right into it. Loser semis as I run the stream at the same time. Three, two, one. Boom. Yeah, I got the timing right on that. Alright, getting right into it. Arma. There's this K9 and Bruce here in Loser semis. It's time to go to Pokemon Stadium 2 as Jack Mack is about to get back on the mic. There we go. Alrighty, getting back into it. K9 and Arma. Looks like Arma is your winner there. T3 is out. So. Uh, Wolf versus ZSS. Excellent. Bo uh, ZSS is a very explosive character, but Wolf is, also, is a good character just kind of shutting you down. Um, now. DSS's flip kick can do a lot to mitigate that, but K9 is a very good player, and I expect a, he, as someone who's been playing in SoCal for as long as he has, he is able to play again around that move pretty well. Uh, Uppy out of shield, such a great option for killing with ZSS. I love the Arma, Arma going for that side B, trying to catch the neutral getup. Mistimes it a little bit. So, I think K9 was going for the fair to nair there, but the percent wasn't quite right, or maybe he didn't get that right. Anyway, uh, nice conversion there coming out from Armour, getting the Zare into the forward air, or back air. I think that was a raw back air, or attack cancel back air. Forward throw, sets up the tech situation, and Armour does not tech, gets hit by that F-tilt, and is now exactly where K9 wants him. And like I said, K9 stuffs out that flip kick with an air, and Arma used to jump for that, which means he could make it back. K9 is starting off this set very strong, but Arma cannot be counted out yet as he lands that conversion, dealing almost 50%. And K9, again, has Arma exactly where I want him off stage. Okay. Somehow K9 not getting punished while being on that platform, but Arma still will, despite making that tech. Uh, gets the trade. Okay. Arma lands with back air, tricks him up a little bit. And up smash, taking it all. Okay, commanding game one coming out from K9 in the first game of Winner's Semis here at WNF. Yeah, Wolf has a lot of kill power and DSS being so light, it's really, uh, really solid for him. Anyway, getting into game number two here. Looks like we'll have Vance joining us, or maybe he'll just sit here and eat pizza next to me. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, we're going to Kalos here. Um, with K9 and Arma here. So Arma playing this a little more in his face, but now he's back off a little bit. I love that pivot walking from Arma, just showing he's going for this micro spacing, trying to bait out some kind of fair or, or some option from K9 and, and uh, punish it appropriately. Uh, this game already much closer as K9 started off from Postman so strong. It gets the attack cancel back air off the board air. Okay, goes low there with that Nair, trying to put Arma, get Arma sent him off stage. Now K9 is the one off stage. And Arma's just gonna back off, maybe giving him a little bit too much space there. But it's not gonna matter because he'll land this flip kick with the Uppy. Kalos. Failing K9 out there though. Anyway, K9 gets the up tilt. Name is patient, backing it off a little bit. There's so much space in Kalos here. Uh, both gives those players a lot of room to maneuver, retreat. We're seeing a lot slower pace of the game here. Um, it's un it seemed to benefit Arma a little more at this point, but as I say that, K9 gets the up smash. Anyway, uh, it's still a close game at this point. Arma just needs a solid conversion here like that one, and he 
it is tied up. Anyway, Armor lands on the platform. Treats, keeps Paralyzer. Again, playing very patient. And that frame one jab coming out from DSS. Such a great move. I mean, in any situation where you're uh, both you know, in the same spot, CSS is always going to have that faster option than you. Advance, advance. Hits <laughs> me. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, oh no, I'm muted. Um, so yeah, gems are actually pretty good. Um, a lot of wolves typically like to spot dodge a lot because they can punish you right afterwards because spot dodge canceling this thing. So for ZSS having a frame one jab, it's really good to call your opponent for spot dodging too because it's usually the option that beats out spot dodges because you are going to commit to that one, two, three jab. So it's really good that Arma is tossing it out. That does prevent K9 from going for like a spot dodge, which is something we haven't actually seen this whole match so far. Yeah, actually, I mean, if anything, I think we should be seeing it a little more. But I think a lot of ZSS's strength, though, is her ability to maneuver and her, her aerials and those kind of things as well. So Yeah, great move vulnerability, uh, solid, uh, solid disjoints, too, because her Nair, her Zare, uh, her forward air, things like that, those things tend to be usually a little bit disjointed. So she has really good opportunities to whip punish her opponent. And she is very uh, bait and punish heavy, so she can really just deal the pressure. But not only that, like have the distance that she needs to kind of like combat her opponents at a distance. She also got Paralyzer as well. She's really good at whip punishing too, honestly. But I, I do like how Armo is looking for more of the big brain play. And then just one kick to the face, honestly, just kind of like threw that away. And then K9 takes a stock lead here. Yeah, those wolves and their uh, back air reads. Charlie's really good at that in particular. Anyway, so I feel like in this match. Oh, okay. He barely got that. I, I feel like in this matchup, ZSS is, is like moving around, doing all these pirouettes, doing backflips and all this thing. And, and Wolf is, is just kind of the guy who runs up and just like punches her in the face. Did you ever see Nina Jones? Yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. It's, it's the, the guy with the sword. <laughs> he's swinging the sword. He just has a gun. He's just like, all right, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, both of these characters do have guns. Yeah, and one of them does. They both have swords in their, in, in their own way. Like Wolf, Wolf's forward tilt and his fair and all that's pretty pretty much a sword. Back air that'll do it, and that puts Arma off the stage. And Canine moving up 2-0 and win losing semis. Yeah, this is. Wait, did T3 Dumb drop out? He lost to Arma, I believe. Uh, oh, maybe he dropped out though. I don't. I don't know. Javi maybe can enlighten us. Did T3 Dome? Uh, no, Arma, Arma beat him. Arma beat T3 Dome. Yeah, it was like a 2-1 or something. Damn, my boy. I'm out here going 1-2 today because I dropped like a freaking confirm. My boy Arma out here making big plays. <sighs> Shout out to Arma. Baby. It's okay, Vance. Everybody has their day. Yeah. Yours was not today. <sighs> I was so, you know, it's not about me. It's about the players here. So far, Arma is down 0 2 to K9. He's doing a pretty good job of like, keeping it close, but K9 just has one step above him, too. And it's like you said, right? You are really just jumping around. You have the space in the mobile room building. But in a sense, like, you do. Um, Wolf does have like a little bit of an anti air. Like, he has the up tilt. It's really good space. Really good disjoint. Forward tilt's really good at it as well. He has Nair as well to combat Zelda. Has a lasting hitbox. So it's. I'm sorry, Zelda. ZSS. So it does have like a lasting hitbox to do to challenge her as well. Yeah. It, uh, no, no, go, go ahead. ahead. I was just gonna say I like the counter pick because I think uh, the the survivability for ZSS is pretty important and wolf recovery not being. Oh old. no! And it's because so he you won't be able to reach that far off because like compared to Smash Four where the magnet hands were more prevalent in this game, they won't be that much for ZSS. And. Even if she has her back towards the state, she won't grab it unless she's close enough. And I don't know if Arma held back on the joystick to make sure he would actually hit to grab the ledge. Yeah, yeah, going for the shoulder edge guard, but not quite working that far. Okay, grab, forward air. All right, I, I think can I, I, he probably knows Wolf better, better than I, but maybe he could have gotten there there. Um. No, he, he, was, he was going for the right options. 
Sometimes to really truly mix up your opponent and kind of get them on a guessing game, it's best to go for a few aerials and then stop there because your opponent might be trying to DI and do uh, the follow up afterwards. Yeah, or just throw out a quick option to exactly maybe hope, hoping that you you drop the combo or something like that so they can reverse. Oh, it. that was good. That was a good call out, but unfortunately, like Arma got away from it. But never mind. I mean, the small spacing does matter. Oh, that man just raw up because he knows Kana was going nowhere but one place. Yeah, Wolf is definitely a character at kill percent. If you're if you're messing up something near his shield, it's just gonna like kill you. Good parry. He has oh, the up smashes, he has the down smash. It's just like he's very threatening yeah. at close range. Especially at oh, kill percent. Try to come in there. Looking the space more until good parry, another another punish. Arma is very much on the back foot. I felt like he should be looking to just try to space himself away oh, from K9, yeah, but he misses the wall jump, and K9 will move up with a 30 and a handshake. You hate to you see hate, it. You hate to see it, man. You hate, <laughs> you hate, you hate to, to see, see it. it. You hate to see it. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but 30 and handshakes will always hurt me. Alrighty, it looks like we're having our, a rematch here. 